Hi, hi, Linda, are you there? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, how are you? How are you? Fine, thank you, and you? Fine, can, can you listen to me well? Yes. Now, yes, okay, because today I, I put uh, a clip <laughs> so the microphone doesn't <laughs> like like yeah. yesterday. Did you begin reading the book? Yes, it's very interesting. I uh, read five page. Ah, uh, it's it is a very nice book, and it is not difficult to understand. No, it's easy. Yeah, very very easy. I have very when nice. you finish that, you tell me, and I'm gonna I'm gonna share another book with you. Yes, I like the the book. Yeah, it's a nice book. A nice, nice book. Patricia is not not here. It's, it's very weird. Yes, he's the first. <laughs> yeah, the first. Yes, she's always. Well, the, I don't know what what happened. When I connect, she's say hey, yeah, está. She. Oh, she is already here. She is already here. Mm -hmm. Today I didn't wear makeup. I look like if I am sick. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that I forgot I forgot my, my makeup in the car. Uh, car is like one, two, three, like four or five houses after my house. So uh, I, didn't, I didn't want to go because today has been a very, very, very busy, busy day. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, we have more students here. Edgar, I'm going to rename you because Hello. I need your complete name. No. Manuel. No lo puse don't completo. worry, don't worry. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. Don't worry. Yes. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to help you. Okay, well, I have Francisco, Erika, Edgar. Well, Francisco, Linda, Erica, Edgar, congratulations because you were, you yeah. finished the, the midterm exam, all right? You finished and you got very, very good grades. You got very good grades. So congratulations, because you are responsible. Thank you so much. Sorry? Thanks, teacher. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, you are very, very, very responsive, so I'm very happy for that. Okay, we're gonna begin today. It's eight sharp, it's eight sharp. So we're gonna begin today with our class. Now, um, what we're gonna do today is a lot of things. Today's topic is very, very interesting. Okay, can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes very teacher. Good. All right, very good. So today is class number 12. I have to explain, to, exp to tell you, sorry, the, the general uh, facts. Today is class number 12 and And this is the objective of today, all right? We will learn to express a problem regarding, or regarding, I'm sorry, regarding equipment or equipment in the office. Yesterday, we were talking about problems in a, in a plant, in a factory, but today is gonna be in an office and we're gonna use present perfect. That is a very, very um, useful and, and very important grammar structure in English. So we're gonna study that in a, in a very nice context. Now, we're gonna, play, we're gonna play a little game right now, okay? <clears throat> we're gonna make a little review. We're gonna review verbs in English, okay? Do you know verbs in English or do you have problems with the verbs in English? Kind of, all right, okay. So that is what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna uh, play a little game. Edgar, Edgar, do you remember this? Do you, do you remember the roulette? 
<laughs> oh, okay. Yes, you remember the roulette. Okay. So in the roulette, uh, we have some verbs. All right. We're gonna make a little rip. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see. Okay. So Linda, can you please? I'm I'm gonna point the verb and you read it, please. Okay. What is this verb? Uh, eat. Okay. Drink. Okay. Sleep. Okay. Swim. Thank you very much. Thank you. Francisco, you continue, please. Continue. Okay. Oh, wait. Pra practice the pronunciation. Okay, pronounce it. Read. Okay. B. Okay. Bye. Okay. Um. Okay, thank you very much, Francisco. Edgar, let's continue. Let's continue, Edgar, uh, please. Feel, go, how. Thank you very much. Erika, let's continue, please. Uh, see, speak, speak, yeah. and think. Perfect, thank you very much. Just uh, one, one thing. When you have verbs, when you have verbs that begin, okay, verbs that begin with an S, like, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, verbs that begin with that, we are going to pronounce like the sound like So we're not gonna say sleep, okay? This is only one observation because uh, sometimes we can make a little mistake, all right? So we're not gonna say, we don't say sleep, okay? We begin with the sound, sleep, okay? Sleep, very good, that's, that's what we do. We say that, sleep, all right. So uh, I, will, I will need volunteers for this game, okay? We're gonna play this game together and I'm gonna spin, I'm gonna spin the, the roulette, okay? I'm gonna press. I'm gonna press the red button. And uh, when you tell me stop, I will stop. Like, like for example, like, give me a second. For example, like this, okay? And when you tell me stop, I'm gonna stop. And in the verb that the arrow, well, it's, it's a little arrow, but in the verb that the arrow stays, you are going to tell me the verb, but in the past form. Okay, very good. Let's see, because uh, first we're gonna review present and past, and in the next activity, we're gonna review present, past, and past participle. Is it clear? Okay. Yay, good, okay. very good, all right. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> I got scared, all right. So let me see, we're gonna, again, okay. So let me see, volunteers or victims? Okay, I'm gonna begin with, uh, Evit is here. Hi Evit, good night. <laughs> so I'm gonna spin the roulette, Evit, and when you tell me stop, I will stop, okay? Okay. Okay. Stop. All right, Evit, what is the simple past of the verb eat? What is the past form of the verb eat? Sorry, your microphone is, is silent. Eight. Yes, very good. So I'm gonna write it, lo voy a escribir, so you can make a little list, porque le va a servir. You're gonna use it. All right, so please make a list or write them, okay, eight, very good. The simple past of it is eight, it's perfect. Eight. Thank you very much, perfect. Now, uh, let me see, Erica, you're gonna be my next victim, okay. <laughs> um, stop. Stop. Again, the same verse, sorry, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it again, I don't know why. Okay, go ahead. Stop. Again in the same bird. Uh, what happened? Always it stops in the same bird. This is a trick. Let me see. I will try again. 
I don't know why always it stops in the same verb, but okay, Erika, uh, tell me the simple past of the verb sleep. Sleep. I don't know. Sleep. 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 You don't know? Uh, no remember. You don't remember. Okay, I'm gonna write it. The simple past of a sleep is slept. Okay, yeah. write it, write it down. Sleep, slept. So if you want to say yo dormí, you say in English, I slept. All right. I slept. Okay, very good. Let me see. Mm. Uh Patricia is here. All right. <laughs> Hi, Patty. All right. Patty, tell me the simple past of the verb go. Goes. Oh, that is the third person singular in present. That is in present. But for he, she, it, goes. What is the past? Get. No. No. No, you don't know. No. No, okay, I'm going to help you. Go, the simple past of the verb go, it oh. went. Okay, went. very good, went. Very good, yes, went. Let me see oh. another person. Um, Reina, Reina will help me. Reina, what is the simple past for the verb see? What is the past for this? No idea? No. No. Ah, okay. The simple past for the verb C is so. Okay? Yeah, that is the past. So. So if you want to say, yo vi a mi amigo ayer. I saw my friend yesterday. All right, very good. I saw my friend yesterday. Let me see. Uh, Linda, what is the simple past for the verb read? Read. Read. Yes, it's like the color, the pronunciation is like the color, Red. but the spelling is the same, it's similar. Yes. Present in past, the writing is similar or the spelling is similar, but the pronunciation is different. So in present, read, in past, red, like the color. Okay, um, let me see, Herman, hi Herman. Aha, all right, Herman, what is the simple past? For the verb be, verb to be? Was. Was, and? Uh, where. Excellent, very good, Herman, very good. All right, so the simple past of the verb to be is was and where, all right, was and where. So if you say, for example, I am a teacher, I was a teacher. Yo era. I was a teacher. Okay. Um, Sandy, Stephanie is... Okay. Um, Evit, again. I repeat. What, okay. is the simple <laughs> what is the simple pass for the verb come? Came. Excellent. Very good. Come, came. Let me tell you, my dear students, that in English, it's very, very, very important to know the past of the verbs, all right? Mm -hmm. So these verbs are like the most common. That's why I decided to, to choose these verbs, because they are like the most common. Okay, um, let me see if I do it again, if, I, if it doesn't stop in the same. Okay, um, Edgar. What is a simple past for the verb um, drink? Drink. Mm -hmm. drink. <laughs> no idea, no. Edgar? Okay, no. drank. Drank. Uh -huh. For example, drank. ayer bebí café. Yesterday, drank. I drank <coughs> coffee. The pronunciation is drank. drank. Con la U, ese es otro verbo. Es el futuro. Uh, no, no, the future is uh, with an auxiliary, will drink or is going to drink. Con U es participle. Exactly, it's participle, very good. But, but we're going to study that in the next, uh, in the next activity. Okay, uh, what is the simple path? Now I will need volunteers. What is the simple path for the verb think? Thought. 
Thought. Thought. Thought. Very good. Thought. So think is pensar. And thought is the simple past. Okay? Yo pensé que me querías. I thought you loved me. Oh my God, what a sad thing. <laughs> okay, what is the simple past of the verb speak? Spoke. Spoke, very good. Speak, spoke. Yeah, you can take notes. Speak, spoke. Okay, uh, what is the simple past for the verb have? This is a very common verb. Has. 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 Has is in present. But for have. Him, had. Have. Very good. Had. Nice. Had. So you say, I have, I had. Very good. I have, I had. Now, what is the simple past for the verb feel? Sentir. No. Feel. Feel. Oh. Sorry? Felt. Felt. Very good. Feel felt. Teacher. And como hago? How do I do to learn the verbs? Very easy. You memorize them. <laughs> you have to memorize the verbs. The verbs are memorized. No other way around. No hay vuelta de hoja. No other way around. What is the simple past for come? Came. 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 Very good. Came. Come, came. Come, came. Okay, let me see which one is missing. Speak C. So, right? Have, go, is when, come, by. Ah, by. What is the simple past of by? Both. 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 Yes. Both. That's it. Buy, both. Yo compro, I buy. Yo compré, I bought, all right? Present and past, present and past, okay. Now, I think that we have all of them. Creo que ya los tenemos todos. I think we have all of them. Okay, let me see. Take. Ah, take, thank you very much, take. Take, the simple past of take. Took. Took. Very took. good. So took. you say, for example, I take a shower. I took a shower. I take a shower. I took a shower yesterday or today, but in the morning. Okay. Very good. Now we're going to practice the pronunciation for these verbs. Let's see. I will tell you the verb in present and you tell me the verb in past. Okay. Drink. Drunk. Drunk. Everybody? Drunk. 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 Okay. Drunk. Sleep. Drunk. Slept. 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 Remember, eh, slept, no. Slept. Slept. Lo pronunciaron bien. You pronounced it well. All right. Swim. Swam. Swim. Okay, we don't have that one. Swim. Nadar. All right. Swam. Okay. With M. M. If it could, some people write it like this, y eso es cisne, all right? No, it's M, swam, okay, very good, swam. So swim, swam, read? Red. red. Like the color, red. B? Was or was. Was and where. Was and where. Or where. Was, like was. Mm -hmm. was. Was. By? Boat. 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 But, mm -hmm. but, come, came, good, feel, felt, felt. felt. go, went. Went. went, went, have, have, have. had, all right, see, so, so, so. so. Mm -hmm. so. so. see, so. So. so, speak, spoke, spoke. okay, R look at me. Spoke. Spoke. Excellent. Very good. Spoke. Spoke. Take. Spoke. Took. 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 Think. Talk. 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 Okay. Talk. Think. 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 Thought. Think. Thought. Think. Thought. Thought. Think. Thought. 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 Yeah. Think. Sorry. Think. Sorry. <laughs> 
estoy echando una hormiguita por acá. Ahí, estoy en mi teclado y, oh my God, sorry. Oh my God, chip. Ok, so you say, think, thought. Thought, como con Z. Con una Z. Think, thought. Thought. All right, think, thought. Very good, very good. All right, excellent. Ok. So, I'm not going to spin the wheel because siempre paran el mismo verbo, eh? I don't know why, I don't know why, it makes freak on me. Okay. So, we're going to go to the next activity. And in the next activity, I will need your help. But you're going to work in pairs or in, in trios. Now, what are we going to do? Well, we already learned some verbs in simple past. In English, the verbs have three forms. Base form, the past, and the past participle, okay? So what I want you to investigate with your classmates in this moment is, I need you to investigate the past, pa the past and the past participle of these verbs, okay? And after that, we're going to check. I'm going to give you some time. De esto ya vimos algunos. We saw some of the verbs before already in the, in the previous activity. Now, um, that's what we're going to do, all right? I want you to look for the past and I, and I want you to look for the past participle, okay? Past, past participle. And after that, we're gonna, we're gonna make a, a little list, okay? Because these are the verbs we're gonna use in today's class, okay? Very good. So please take a, take a picture. Take a picture of the, of the, of the thing, of the, of the chart, all right? And when you are ready, you tell me. Are you ready? No. Yes. Ah, someone said no. All right. When you are ready, let me know. Let me see. I have more people. I have Reina. Abby is here. Juliana is here. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're gonna. I'm gonna stop the the share. Okay, and we're gonna go to we're gonna go to the breakout rooms to practice. Exactly, we are. Ah, yes, we are eleven. Okay, so I'm gonna have a group of three, and the group of three is gonna be Herman, Juliana, and Reina de la Paz. Okay, you're gonna be the group of three, and then Edgar and and Abby, uh, uh, Eden Nilsson and and Ibit, Abel. Linda and Patricia, Erica and Francisco. Okay, very good. I'm gonna give you some, some time to, to investigate this and bye-bye. Let's go and let's practice, okay? You can, you can use a dictionary if you, if you have, or if you don't know, you can ask me for help, okay? Oh, no, se no se preocupe. Your your internet is is a little ah yeah that's a problem but don't worry continue. Okay. Okay. Dream. Drunk. Drunk. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Go. Went. And listen. I don't remember and I <laughs> go when goes no goes is in third person singular yes the past participle is gone 
Gone. Ah, yes. Gone. Went gone. 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 Mm -hmm. Sleep. Slept. In the past, what is it? Similar. Slept. Slept. Mm -hmm. I irregular yeah. and regular verbs. Yeah, there are regular and irregular verbs. I'm gonna, that's why uh, the first group of verbs are irregular and the second group of verbs are regular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you that later. This, uh -huh. done. And done. Uh -huh. Done. Sleep. Papa slept. 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 Y slept en past participle también. Es lo mismo. Eh, say for, yes. Okay. Tengo una tabla, sí. pero tengo una tabla, pero no lo tengo. Sí. Slept eh, is the same, the past participle. Mm -hmm. It is the it's same. The same. Mm. Yes, it's the same. Very. And the C is so, so. And past participle is thing. Uh, we need a third one. It's C, C, S, E, E, N, thing. Oh, we have a thing for the same. Ya me conecto. Vale, de acuerdo. Sí. <laughs> Herman, you always Oye. take look at my face. <laughs> Oye, teacher, vamos a resolver esto. <laughs> sí. Es muy so. uh -huh. Feel, felt. Uh, you are in, 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 in Juliana, is she there? Yes. Diana, are you there? Diana está durmiendo los peques. Reina, no sé. Ah, okay, yes, yes, yes. I, I, I know. Yeah, she, she has that. Hi, Reina. Okay, continue. Sí. Me siento, Germán. No problem. Me están tocando. ¿De cuál era el otro? Yo creo que ya lo compartieron. Do you do you have do you have the list of verbs? I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share the list of verbs. It's here, okay? Uh -huh. These okay. are the verbs. Remember, we need the past and the and the past participle of the verbs. Mm -hmm. Past, past okay. participle of the verbs. Sorry? Okay. Ya okay, lo iba a compartir que me acabo de incorporar. Oh, okay, yes, yes, Irene. Uh, take take a picture. Take a, yeah, a picture. Yeah, 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 you got it, you got it. All right. Okay. Sí. Continue, continue. Gracias, yo lo comparto. Okay, gracias. Had, had. Okay. Um, verify. Oh, verify. Had, had. Verify. Mm -hmm. Verify. Yes, verify. Ah, that is a that is a regular verb. Yeah, remember in English, regular verbs finish in ed. So it would be like this. I'm gonna show you. So verify. Uh, the verb in past is like this verified and one characteristic of the regular verbs or the verbs that finish in ed is that the past and the past participle is always similar okay mm -hmm. and the same sleep exact mm -hmm. oh same, the same of sleep uh -huh. yeah. the past and past participle uh-huh is the same yes and have uh, and have, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, there are there are some irregular verbs that also have also uh, have uh, some some similar verbs in past and past participle. Yeah. Okay. 
play. Yes, the past participle is the the size of verifying. A little time. Ah, <laughs> Sorry, I was muted. Did you finish, everybody? No. Okay, I'm gonna give you three minutes more. And I, because I need you to know the, these verbs. I need you to know these, these verbs very well. I'm going to give you like four minutes more, okay? So you can do it. She can. Okay. Bye-bye one more time with the same group. Four minutes more. Yeah, because I, uh, we need to know the verbs to study what we have to study. And sent. Yes, sent and sent. Explain. Explain. Explain is a regular verb. Yes, it is. Explain it and explain it. Yes, as is is regular verb. Yeah. Replace. Replace, uh, replace is. Uh, replace, regular verb. Replace. Uh, replace it. Uh, re replace yes. It. And replace it. Is regular verb. Yeah. Replace. Regular verb. Explain. Replace. Okay. You finished? Yes, finish. Ah, okay, very good. Now, uh, you're going to tell me the verse then. Uh, what's the, let me see, past participle of go? Who is going? Going. Going. Mm -hmm. hmm? Okay. What's the past participle of the verb see? Seen. Seen. Very good. Seen. What's the past participle of the verb send? Send. Send. Yeah. <coughs> Can you repeat? Send. Mm, with with D or with T? With T. With T. Uh -huh. So the yeah. pronunciation is sent. Sent. Yeah. Sent. Yeah. So we say send, sent, sent. Sent. Mm -hmm. Sent. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Sent. Send, sent, sent. That's that's what, sent. that's what we say. Yeah. Send, sent, sent. Sent. Yep. Yeah. Very good. Let me see. What's the past participle of the verb verify? That's the pronunciation. Verify. Verify. Verified. Verified. Mm -hmm. Verified. Is is regular verb. Yes, it is a regular verb. So you say verify, verified, uh -huh. verified. 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 Yeah, okay. Mm, uh, replace. What is the past participle of re the, the simple past of replace? Oh, we have 
seven seconds. We will go to the principal room and we will discuss this together. Okay? Okay. 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 Okay, give me a second, everybody. No. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna make it bigger because I'm gonna work it here. All right, everybody. So I would like you to tell me, what is the simple past for the verb eat? Eight. What is the simple past for the verb eat? Eight. 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 All right. And the past participle? Eaten. Eight. Eaten. 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 Or eaten. You can say eaten. Eating. Eating. What's the simple past for drink? Drunk. 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 And the past participle? Drunk. Drunk. All right. Very good. <coughs> so the pronunciation for these three are like this. <coughs> Sorry. Drink, drink, drunk, drunk, drink, drunk, drink, yeah, drink, drink, con e, como con e, exactly, drink, drink, and drunk, drunk, perfect, drunk. very good, that's drunk. the pronunciation. Okay, what about go? The past is went, and the past participle, gone, gone, gone. What about do? Gone. The past is. Did. Did. And the past participle is? Done. 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 Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, done. What about sleep? The past is? Slept. 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 And the past Slept. participle is? Slept. 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 Okay. What about C? Mm. So. So. So and? Sing. 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 Excellent. Sing. Very good. Now let's go with the next. The next one. Have. What is the past participle of have? Have. Have. Sorry, the past. And the past participle is the same. Have. Okay? Uh, have, have, have. What about check? Okay, pay attention to check. Check is a regular verb. That means they are verbs that finish check. in ed. ed. Okay, very good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reduce the letter because if not, we're not going to have a space. So, I'm going to tell you something. When you have a regular verb in past, the past participle is going to be similar, okay? You don't need to think a lot like, oh my God, no. It is more problem with the irregular verbs. Mm -hmm. But with the regular verbs, we don't have that problem, okay? So, verify. What is the simple past? Very, verify. Verify. Yeah, Very and the the pronunciation is verified. Like with check, verified. pronunciation is not checked. The pronunciation is checked. Checked. Yeah, checked. All right, very good. Eh, verified. The next one is verified. It's similar. What about send? Send is not, a, is not an irregular verb. It's, it's not a sorry regular verb. It's irregular. But it, it is almost the same, right? Send, send. 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 All right, send. very good. What about explain? What is the simple past? Is it is a regular verb? So how do you how do you pronounce it? Explain. Explained. Explained. Explain. We're gonna reduce the letter here. Explain. And the past participle is explained. Okay, very good. Now what about what about the next one? What's the pronunciation for the next one? Replace. Replace. Replace, replace and replaced. The meaning of replace is reemplazar. All right. Very replaced. Good. Yeah, replaced. replaced. So please take a picture of these verbs because we're going to use these verbs in this class, today's class. All right. Very good. We're going to use them. We're going to use the verbs in today's class. Finish. When you have the picture, you let me know. You have the picture? Yes. Yeah, yes, very good. Yeah. 
Okay, now we're gonna go to the next slide. And the next slide is this. Okay, now, uh, yesterday we were talking about problems that are common with some, <laughs> Ooh, uh, we have some problems with, uh, uh, common problems with the plant. Now I need you to make a list of common problems with a computer, specifically with a computer. What are some common problems that we can have with a computer? All right. So uh, we're going to go like three minutes to practice in pairs. Okay. And make a small list. Make a, a small list about, about problems that we can have with a computer. I'm going to give you a little time. Okay. Very good. Yeah, we will have a group of three. All right, so, okay, bye-bye. Let's go and practice. I'm gonna give you some. I need a list of common problems with a computer, okay? The computer. Yes. Okay, similar. Yes. Yes, yes three in problems. My case, in my case, um, the, co the computer shut down. Exactly. Oh, but Herman, repeat, please, the computer. Uh, shoot down. But como es tercera persona, it is third person singular, you say shuts down. Okay, the computer shuts down. Perfect, because we have, it is he, she, it. All right, it, nice. Excellent, continue. Go ahead. Okay. Other problems, maybe. Ah, oh, no, este. oh, está la ticha. Hi. Hello, teacher. Yes, we, are, we are making a list. We are making a list of some common problems that we can have with a computer. For example, the computer doesn't work. The mouse doesn't work. Oh. Um, yeah, like that. Problems, okay? Problems. Yeah. Okay. Sí, is it clear? No, teacher. Ah, okay. Es como poner este problemas de la computadora. Exactly. What what can be the most common problems with computers? In the office, what can be a problem with 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 a computer? Mhm. Mm for example, uh, when the lost connection. Exactly, exactly. That is a problem, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Un que dicen que se congeló? Frozen, ¿verdad? Eh? Oh, the Frozen. computer, the com uh, yeah, the computer froze. <laughs> <laughs> Algo así. <laughs> Frozen is the movie. <laughs> Yeah, you can say the computer, uh, the computer screen froze. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can say that. Yeah, you can say that. There's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that can be a problem. The computer screen fro froze, 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 okay, <laughs> froze, <laughs> okay. Okay, a ver. Okay. Oh, seven seconds. Yes, okay. Let, let's go out and we're gonna go to the to the main Hola. <laughs> Hola. Hi. Okay. Now, what are some common problems we can have with a computer, everybody? 
tell me. We're going to make a list. Francisco? Yeah, um, in my case, maybe my computer had a problem with the printer. Okay, problems with, with the printer. All right, the printer connection. Okay, very good. Another problem? My the internet connection. <laughs> Okay, uh, internet connection. That can be another problem. Okay, another problem? No. It's screen no. frozen. Oh, the screen, the, a frozen screen. <laughs> frozen screen. A frozen screen, yes. Another? The computer is shut down. Okay, at the computer, very good. The computer shuts down. Hey, we learned this yesterday. Very good. Okay, what else? Mouse doesn't work. Yeah, that is a problem, right? The mouse doesn't work. Okay, travation. <laughs> <laughs> or we can say uh, the mouse gets stuck. Esto significa que se traba, right? The mouse gets, mm -hmm. gets stuck. stuck. Mm -hmm. Very good. What else? Lost the connection. Uh, yeah, internet connection. Uh, the, uh, yeah, internet connection. We lose internet connection. Okay, what else? Only that? Okay, we're gonna say only that, all right? So these are some common problems. Uh, um, I'm gonna give you another problem. Maybe the, the cords, let me see, the <clears throat> cords are unplugged, all right? That means los cables están desconectados, right? The cords are unplugged, all right? Yeah. Cords are unplugged. How do you say it's un cable falso? Oh, uh, there is a... Um, there is an interference. There is an interference. Mm -hmm. Or a bad connection. Mm -hmm. We can have a bad connection. Yeah, that can be a problem. We can have a bad connection. Okay. Very good, everybody. Now, if you want, you can take a picture. Yeah, because I know that, that we're going to, we have a lot of things to do. So, number one, problems with the printer, printer or printer connection. Number two, internet connection. Number three, a frozen screen. Number four, the computer shuts down. Number five, the, the mouse doesn't work or the mouse gets stuck. Number seven, we lose internet connection. Number eight, the cords are unplugged. Or number nine, there is an interference or a bad connection, all right? Those are some common problems that we can have with a computer. Now, I'm gonna move to the next slide. I'm gonna erase this, I'm sorry. And we're gonna go to the next slide. Now, you know, right? You know that we always practice a conversation. But ahora quiero comenzar al revés. I, wanna, I want to begin um with something different we are going to practice the pronunciation of the words first and after that we're going to practice the conversation so we're going to practice the pronunciation of some words now <laughs> we're going to begin with the first one the pronunciation of the first one is ron ron Wrong. Wrong. La W es silenciosa. W is silent. Wrong. So it's like if you be, es como que solo pronunciáramos wrong. wrong. All right? Wrong. 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 You're wrong. wrong. You're wrong. 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 Yeah, you, we don't say grown. Mm. That's not possible. We wrong. say wrong. wrong. Okay. The pronunciation for this one. This is a regular verb in English. This is a regular verb. So, what we're going to do is, pay attention to this, this ED is not going to sound like an ED. Let me check it. No. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna substitute the ed for this sound. Cuando mm -hmm. usted mire que yo le pongo algo entre plecas es porque es la pronunciación. So the pronunciation of that is t, t, t. Okay? So it's checked. 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 Yes. Checked. So this, uh, let me see. This, this ED is gonna sound like this. So you're gonna say checked. 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 It is not correct. Checked. It's say checked. That is not correct. So you say checked. Okay, here is the same, sorry, that I repeated, all right? It is repeated, I'm sorry. So this is the same, we're gonna pronounce it like that. Okay, now here, this is a different story. We're not gonna pronounce that like plugged. We're gonna pronounce that with this sound. And this sound is like this. D, d, d. So we're gonna say plugged. Plug, conectado, all right, plug. You're not gonna say, oh, my computer is plugged. No, you're gonna say, my computer is plugged, okay? Plugged. Yes, acuérdese, el inglés es malicioso. So you have to make an effort to be picky with the pronunciation, all right? So you say plugged. Plugged. Porque no suena como t. Ah, all right. That is a, a, a different thing. That is a, a different story. Um, I will see if I can send you some extra information about that. So the next one, the next word. Techni. Techni. Oh, sorry. Plugged. The pronunciation for this is. Plugged. This is gonna be like this. You're gonna pronounce that like this. Technician. 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 Mm -hmm. Technician, no. Technician, technician. no. You say technician. 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 Yeah, technician. Technician. All right. This one is heard. It's like if you say this, heard. All right? Heard. Oh, this one is a little difficult. Difficult. Heard. This one is maintenance. Ma I would like, maintenance. like maintenance. 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 Like that. Maintenance. 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 Excellent. Very good. Maintenance. 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 And the emphasis, the emphasis is going to be here. Maintenance. Maintain. All right, very good. Now here, here this ED, all right, is going to sound like, the, so you're going to say verified. Verified. Yeah, verified. This one, verified. equipment. 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 Uh, it's like it's like if the P is silent. Mm -hmm. It's like if the P is silent. You're gonna say equipment. The next one is batteries. 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 Sorry. Is batteries. Ba ba is like batteries. Batteries. Like batteries. Sorry. Batteries. This will be like, esto sería como un sonido junto, algo así. Batteries. Ba ba batteries. 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 The next batteries. is sense. Sense. Coming. You don't say coming. coming. You say coming. Coming. The next one is replaced. 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 Right? So the. The ED will sound like this sound, replaced. Replaced. And the last one is turn on. Turn, turn on. No. It's turn on. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. All right. Very good. So we're going to, 
we're gonna practice, all right? We're gonna practice the pronunciation for this. So we're gonna say it, yeah. You will pronounce it. Okay, you pronounce it. Pronounce it, everybody. Uh, wrong. 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 Check. Check. Very good. Plugged. Remember, plugged. It's like with A, plugged. This one? Technician. 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 Verified. 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 Verified.
teacher, pero mire, yo nunca voy a poder pronunciar así como, como North American. Mm -hmm. There is not a problem about that. Okay, because remember that we are we are um, we are people who live in in countries where we speak Spanish, so it's gonna be a little difficult, like to to pronounce like like gringos, right? It is not going to be uh, easy, but we can make an effort. Okay, so if you pay attention here, we have the words that we have been practicing. Yeah, plugged, checked, verified had so try to pronounce them um well so take a picture everybody you have the picture perfect okay very good se me adelantaron right okay that's good so if you have the pictures we're gonna practice uh, this is gonna be a small practice right to to practice pronunciation remember that pronunciation is is important i i have pairs I have a lot of students for working in pairs. So you can take turns, right? You can take turns to practice this. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. And practice. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, look. Well, I don't know. I have checked in everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too well. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables or bunk? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified virus. Uh, no, they haven't. My boss sent them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is. Anna has had the some problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the my my maintenance team replaced the batteries? Ah, hello, look. Well, I don't know. I have checked. It's everywhere. I and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have now verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the has the maintenance has the maintenance team replaced the battery no they haven't my boss sent them a memo every week i see by the way the technic the technician is coming ah great i hope he can fix the problem okay and 
teacher um, pronunciation for the for the cables. What did oh, you say? cables. Cable and cable and mm -hmm. cable and memo. And memo, memo. Is have for example oh, memo. memo. Yes, memo. Oh, okay. Yeah, like memorandum. Okay. It is a short way, like in Spanish, yeah. right? Yeah, uh -huh. it's a memo. Yeah, because in Spanish, to say memorandum is like kind of long, so we say memo. Do you still work with memorandums? Yes, memorandum. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. but, it, 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 mm -hmm. but, but memorandums can be sometimes online, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. No. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to finish in some seconds. Okay, we're gonna finish in some seconds. Oh, I have a, a, a pain with my tooth. Yeah, okay. Let's go back to the main room right now. One, go. Okay, my dear students. Now, it's time to pay all the possible attention of the world because we're gonna begin to study, or I'm gonna explain to you a little bit about present perfect, okay? Very good. So please watch the video, pay attention, and after that, we're gonna discuss the video because this topic is very, 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 very important, all right? Very good, let's go, let's see. Okay. repeat and I'm gonna explain the video little by little all right now um present perfect in Spanish we call it el presente perfecto this is not a structure that a lot of languages have we have 
present perfect in Spanish. We have, okay? But other languages don't have it. So for that reason, uh, present perfect can be difficult for other languages, but for Spanish, it's not difficult because we have present perfect in Spanish. I'm gonna explain it to you in, in a moment. Now, to make the present perfect structure is very easy. We need to use have or has and the past participle form. That is the structure. Have or has and the past participle. For example, for example, this is structure. So here we have the subject. Okay, we have the subject plus the auxiliary. Subject plus auxiliary past the past participle verb. The past participle verb is the verbs that we were studying. And a little complement. Okay, very good. This is the structure. This is the structure that we had to use. Okay. Now I have a question. What does it say here? What does it say here in Spanish? What's the meaning of this in Spanish? Okay, if you say yo comí pizza, that will be this. Yo comí pizza is like this. I ate pizza. Yo oh, he comido pizza. Eh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yo he comido pizza. Exactly. Very good. That is the meaning of that. Yeah. So we have it. So he comido pizza. Okay. Very good. This is the meaning of this. Now, eh, in Spanish, we have present perfect. Yo he ido aquí, yo he ido allá, yo he hecho, yo he bebido. All right, we have present perfect in Spanish. Now, pay attention. Pay attention that in this case, have is not tener. Yo tengo, no. In this case, have is an auxiliary. Okay? Very good. Oh. Is this clear? Yes. Is this clear, everybody? Yes. 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 Is this clear? Okay, very good. We're gonna continue. We're going to continue watching the video. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. The negative sentence can be two forms. Number one, you can use never. For example, I have never eaten a burger. Okay? So we can use never. And what will be the what will be the, the translation for this in Spanish, everybody? Exactly. Very good. I have never. Uh, I'm gonna tell you something I have never done. I have never, I have never drunk. Chaparro. I have never drunk Chaparro. And you? Have you ever I drunk don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have <laughs> never okay, so yes. drink Chaparro. I haven't. Okay. Norberto, yes, I, I have never. I have never. I have never. Uh, exactly. Yes. Yeah. I have never drunk. Because remember, remember that the verb, the verb that we're gonna use is past participle. Los verbos que estuvimos estudiando, right? Past participle. Porque para esta estructura nos sirven, all right? The verbs are very, very useful. Sorry. The verbs are very useful for this structure. They are very useful for this structure, specifically for this, right? 
Yeah, because we use past participle with present perfect. Okay, is it clear? It's clear in this moment. Don't yes, worry, I'm gonna give you more examples. I'm gonna give you more examples. All right, let's continue. Mm. Okay. We can... Okay. We can also use not or the contraction that, that will be have not, has not, haven't, or hasn't. That will be the, 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 the negative forms. For example, I haven't eaten a burger. I haven't eaten a burger. Or you can say, I have not eaten a burger. It's clear? Is clear, everybody? Yes. 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 All right. Now let's continue. Okay. This is the question. For the question, we're gonna use the auxiliary first. Have you done your English homework? What's the meaning of this in Spanish? Has hecho tu tarea de inglés. Has hecho, very good, that is the meaning. Have you done your English homework? Okay, I'm gonna show you the difference. Les voy a enseñar la diferencia de presente de, from present. Do you do your homework? Do you do your homework? Haces tu tarea? This is present. Did you do your homework? Hiciste tu tarea? Have you done your homework? Have you done your homework? So, if you pay attention here, we have three tenses. Aquí tenemos tres tiempos. We have three tenses. Present. Present. Past. And present. Perfect. Okay? Yeah, that's what we do. Present. Uy. Present, mm -hmm. present, past, and present perfect. Is it clear? Can you see the yes. difference? Can you see the difference? Something very important that you should know is that it is not possible to mix do with have. Aquí no podemos decir I don't have... Uh, done or i don't have eaten no here is i haven't eaten i haven't done i haven't gone is it clear okay so i'm gonna erase this and let's continue watching the video now uh, now la pregunta del millón ¿Para qué lo usamos? What we use present perfect for. Okay, we use present perfect for two different uh, things. Number one is when we talk about things that we have done in our life. To talk about things we have done in our life. I touched. Okay. But we use it to talk about things we have done in our life. But the most important thing is we don't say when. For example, I want to speak or I want to talk about my life experiences. 
Yo quiero hablar de mis experiencias de la vida y quiero contarles. I want to tell you. Y les cuento. Fíjense que yo he comido peliway, for example. Yes, yes. So how do you say that in English? ¿Cómo lo vamos a decir in English? How are we going to say it in English? Very easy. We say, I have, what is the past participle of it? Eaten. I have eaten. El buey. Y hasta ahí me quedo. No digo cuánto, ¿ok? Porque en el presente ah. perfecto, in present perfect, not necessary. ¿Sí, clear? Ok. Eh, fíjense que yo he bebido chicha. How do you say that in English? I have drunk. drunk. I have drunk. Drunk. Chicha. 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 Very good. And then, I have drunk chicha. I am 36 years old. So, see, since I was born, hasta ahora, until today, in this period of time, yo he hecho cosas. I have done things in my life. So if I want to talk about my life experiences, I use present perfect. Clear? Clear? Yes, in uh -huh. Spanish sería las cosas que hemos hecho en nuestra vida. Exactly, very good, like that. For example, yo he ido a la playa, I have gone to the beach. Yo he besado un mono, I have kissed a monkey, eh, yo he peleado con... No, it's not true. <laughs> it's not true, but I am thinking about examples. Uh, yo he manejado un Ferrari, for example. No, it's not true either. I have, I have driven a Ferrari. You can say, I have driven a Ferrari. I have seen a ghost. Uy. Uy. I have seen a ghost. Or in multiplas. In multiplas. No, no, no. No. <laughs> I have seen a ghost. Uh, I have. Or imagine I want to say, Erika has gone to El Tunco Beach. ¿Qué dice ahí? What, what does it say there in Spanish? Erika ha ido. Very good. No sabemos cuándo, no sí. sabemos dónde, pero sí sabemos que lo ha hecho. We know that she has done it. All right? Is it clear? Yeah? Yes. Clear? Yes. yes. But in, yeah. ¿en qué caso se usa has? Ah, okay. I, I, I'm going to explain it to you uh, later, right now. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do with this. Now, uh, let me see. And they give us an example here. Okay, I have been to Spain. I haven't been to Italy. Been. This is the past participle of verb to be. Okay, so we say be was where and been. All right. So I have been to Spain, but I haven't been to Italy. Or if you want to be more specific, you can say I have. I have never been to Spain. Never. I have never been. Dado. I have never been to Spain. Okay. Uh, now I, I'm going to show you more information. Let me see your faces. Bye. I don't know what, what, what problem. Give me a second because I have a problem with.
¿Qué, puede, ¿Qué miran ahorita de la pantalla? YouTube. Eh, ¿Sorry? YouTube. The video and I have been to Spain. Because I'm having a problem. Frozen screen. Yes, I have a, yeah, frozen my, my froze. I have a frozen screen. The realist example. Yes. Que le toco y le toco y no me da nada. Oh my lord, give me a second. I don't know what happened. We see the computer. <laughs> no, but if I do that, let me check. We see the computer. <laughs> No, but I let me check. Huh? Oh, I see their internet connection. Maybe a technician here. Porque no me deja hacer nada. Give me a second. 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 Me a second. Solo lo de YouTube miran, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. What? Shame. I don't know what the problem has been. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I, if I do that, uh, the class will stop. Okay. Give me a, a, a second. Yeah, because I, I can. Yes! Ah, thank God. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. What a shame. Aha, uh -huh, someone was hacking my computer. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, can you see the presentation, the PowerPoint presentation? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yes. thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry, there, it was a technical problem. It is not common that my computer has a problem. <laughs> very good.
Okay. Now, uh, we already watched the question. Now, this is here. Uh, Evit had a question, right? Okay. Um, Evit told me, Chair, when are we going to use have and when are we going to use has? Well, we're going to use have uh, when we have um, I, you, we, and they. So the auxiliary have is going to be with I, you, sorry, I, you, we, and they. There is when we're going to have the auxiliary have. Okay, we're going to use the auxiliary have with this. And we're going to use the auxiliary has with he, she, it. Okay, very good. Yeah. So have is I, you, we, they. Has, he, she, it. Is it clear? Okay. Yes. So, yeah. So here we have some information. For example, I have tried sushi. The meaning of this expression is yo he probado el sushi. I have tried sushi. What will be the negative form, everybody? What will be the negative form? I have never. Okay, yeah. We can say I, I have never tried sushi. This can be one. And the other, the other form? I have no. I haven't. Have not tried sushi. Very good. So this can be the two ways. So I have tried sushi. I have never tried sushi. Or I have not tried sushi. All right. Very good. I have never tried sushi. I have not tried sushi. Okay. Very good. So here you have the form, right? The affirmative form, the negative form, and the question. The question is, have you, have you tried sushi? This question is when you want to ask to other people. All right, very good. Y lo que veíamos, what we were studying. Okay, so these are some uses of, of the present perfect. Number one, to express things you have done in your life, life experiences. For example, she has never studied Japanese. Uh, if it, have you have you ever drunk chaparro? I never. Never. Okay. So we're gonna say if it, if it, because if it is, if it is third person singular, we're gonna say have or has. 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 Okay. So if it has never drunk. Chaparro. All right, very good. Remember that the verb has to be past participle verb. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah, very good. So, if it has never drunk Chaparro. Uh, Herman, have you ever kissed a, um, a lion? Never. I, okay, so I, Herman has never kissed a lion, okay? So Herman has never kissed a lion. Or si él lo quiere decir, he said, if he wants to say it, he says, I have never kissed, it's a regular verb, so the pronunciation is kissed a lion, okay? Is it clear? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Yes. So this is one use. This es un uso. Number two is to express number of times you have done something. Decir el número de veces, the number of times. For example, I have, I have gone to El Puerto a lot of times. A lot of times, okay? I have gone to El Puerto a lot of times. Or for example, ah, fíjese teacher que yo he ido a Europa tres veces, okay? So you say, I have gone to Europe 
three times. ¿Ok? Yes. No se ha acabado el día. The day hasn't finished. So you can say, I have taken a shower twice. Or, this is similar to two times. Okay? I have taken a shower two times. Or you can say, teacher, I haven't taken a shower today. <laughs> so you can say, I haven't taken a shower today. Yeah. Is it clear? Yes. Is clear number two? Yes. Okay. Uh, number three. Okay, number three. Don't pay attention to number three. Pay attention to number four. To express situations that started in the past and continue in the present. For example, Herman, where do you live? Invente, invente un lugar, Herman, porque acuérdese que esta clase aparece in YouTube. So we don't have to give uh, inform real information. So invent. Where do you live, Herman? San Salvador, La Libertad. In, in, in San Salvador. Okay. So, eh, so, ¿cuánto tiempo? How long have you lived over there? Um, uh, ten, ten years. Ten years. So, Herman has lived in San Salvador for ten years. Uy. For ten years. Okay. Herman has lived in San Salvador for ten years. Or for example, Ivit, where do you work? Invent, invent Ivit. Where do you work? The Coca-Cola company. Okay. How long have you worked over there? How many years? Um, 12 years. 12 years, okay. So, Evit has worked in Coca-Cola company for... For... 12 years. Okay. If it has worked in Coca-Cola for 12 years. Okay. Is this difficult, everybody? Mm. Kind of. Okay. Don't worry. We're gonna... Uh, I'm gonna well, take a picture. Take a picture from this. Take a picture. Please. More practice. Yeah, we're gonna practice more. Right now, we're gonna practice more. Okay, start the share. You have the picture. All right. We're gonna have more practice, everybody. Hi, Jose Anderson, Gustavo. Hi, teacher. Hi. Let me see. Um, okay, I'm gonna go here. Okay, we're going to have more practice with some exercises here. But these are some situations from, from your job. Okay. Now, here we have some, some chunks. Okay, lo vamos a hacer, lo vamos a hacer juntos. We're going to do it together because I know that this topic is not that, that easy. So, um, so, remember, the present perfect is when we talk about activities that started in the past, continues in the present, for I, you, we, and they, we're gonna use have, for he, she, it, we're gonna use has, and we need to use the past participle verb. Now, pay attention here. We're gonna write affirmative and negative sentences using the prompts or using the ideas, right? So it says, Mario, change the fuse. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a sentence using present perfect. And we're gonna say, Mario ha cambiado el fusible. How do you say that in English? Tell me. 
Mario has. Mario has. Mario has. Chained. Chained. Exactly. What is the past participle of chained? Chained. Ok, acuérdese. Chained. Cuando un verbo es regular, no se quiebre la cabeza. When a verb is regular, don't think too much. Regular. Past and past participle is similar. All right, very good. So you say, Mario has changed the fuse. No sabemos cuándo, no sabemos cómo, solo sabemos que ya se hizo. All right? It, uh, the activity uh, was done. So Mario has changed the fuse. Now, number two. The production, negative, it is negative, and stop. In this case, everybody, we are not going to use never. We're going to use a haven't or hasn't. So what is the, what is the sentence here? The production has not stopped. Stop. Stop. How do you pronounce that verb? Stop. 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 Exactly. Stop. Stopped. Stop. Stop. Stopped. Yes. Stopped. Stopped. Very good. So the production has not stopped. Very good. The production has not stopped. What about the next one? Our team fixed the equipment. How do you, how, what is the sentence? Our team, our team, our team fixed the equipment. Have, our team have, 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 have have or has? Has. Has. Have. 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 Has. Why? I'm going to tell you why. Team. Why? Equipo is a collective. Yeah? A team can be by 20 members. Right? Es, se le llama un collective noun. Porque se toma como unidad, even though it collects mm. this. For example, family. Family is one family, but the family can have 20 members. But yeah. one family is one family. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah, so team is the same. Team can be, for example, uh, a team of 30 members or 40 members, but it is one team. Is clear? Yes. So we say mm -hmm. our team has... Our team has... Fix. Fix. Okay, I'm going to help Fix. you. Regular. Fix. 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 The? Equipment. 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 Good. Okay, the next one. Jenny not plugs the cords. What can be the negative? What can be the sentence? Jenny, Jenny has, has not. not Plugged, has not plugged, plugged, plugged the, the cord, cord. cords. Uh, Very good. Jenny has not has no. not plugged the cords. Cord. Jenny has not plugged the cords. Very very good. What about number five? The secretary no. make enough mm. copies. The secretary, the secretary make has enough made. copies. Hey. Has, has made. made. Has made. The secretary. Excellent. Very good. Enough copy. The secretary has made. Has made. Made. Made enough, enough copies. Enough copies. Enough copies. Good. Enough. The secretary enough. has made enough copies. Okay. And what about the last one? The last one says the technician check. The connector. The technician has has check check checked mm -hmm. the connector. The technician. The technician has checked the connector. Remember the connector. something important. Something important from the present perfect is that we don't mention. We don't mention when. The technician has checked the connector yesterday. No, that is not correct. Yeah? Or the technician has... Okay, I'm going to tell you. Every day, every afternoon, in the morning, yesterday, they are not possible to use with present perfect. They are not possible to use. 
All right, very good. So if you want, take a picture. The gecko says yes. The gecko. <laughs> the gecko says Say yes. 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 Finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to tell you something. I have my, when I prepare my class, when I prepare my class, uh, my class ha is, is in order, right? But because you are asking me for it, Uy. but because you are asking me for it, I'm going to do it a little because we have, we have time before the last activity. Okay, so we finished this activity and now I'm going to include something extra. So we can have more examples, all right? Because you are asking me for more examples. And if you want more examples, I'm gonna give you more examples now. Okay, so remember, we use present perfect when we talk about uh, things that we already, we have already done, okay? And remember, we need to, for that, we need the past participle verbs. This is what we need. The most important thing in the present perfect tense is this verb, this one, okay? Not this, not this, these. These verbs are the most important, all right? Now, uh, remember that when we use present perfect, we need to use the auxiliary have or the auxiliary has. So for example, I'm gonna tell you one experience and you, Try to think about one experience of your life. Okay, I have been to San Francisco. But no gotera or chinameca. <laughs> so I have been to San Francisco, California three times. Okay, I have been to San Francisco, California three times. Now you, tell me, one place you have been. You can invent if you want. For example, a teacher, I have been to Miami twice. I have been to Miami five times. I have been to Miami a lot of times. Okay, tell me, tell me please, give me examples. I have been to Panama four times. Wow, Linda, okay, very good. Another person, Grecia? I have been to Colombia one time. One time, okay, very good. Or you can say once. Ah, okay, I have you been. You can say to... once, okay. Another person? I you can invent. Been... Sorry? Yes, I have been to Guatemala uh, 20 times. 20 times. Okay, so you can say, Herman, a lot of times. A lot of times. Yeah, you can yes. say a lot of times. All right, very good. Another example? Okay, I'm going to give you another example. I have never eaten kusuko. <laughs> so I have never eaten kusuko. Now, you tell me something that you have never eaten. Tell me. I have never eaten peliway. You have never <laughs> eaten peliway. It's very delicious. Really? Yeah, very delicious. Okay, another person? I have never eaten rabbit. Hey, Grecia, you have never eaten rabbit. Yes. Okay, so Grecia has never, I say has because it's she. Grecia has never eaten rabbit. Very good. Uh, Francisco, give me one example. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I have never eaten um, rabbit and Pulpo. <laughs> Rabbit in? And pulpo. Pulpo, octopus. I yeah. I have eaten I have eaten octopus, Francisco. Really? Yeah, it is delicious. ¿Cómo, cómo es? Ah. Um, es como que fuera como que estuvieras mordiendo hule. 
<laughs> <laughs> like if you were chewing, I don't know, it's like if you were chewing rubber. It's really weird. It's really weird. Okay. Now, negative. I haven't. Now, we're going to talk about the job. I haven't checked my email today. Mm -hmm. I haven't checked my email this day. What about you, Erika? I haven't, I haven't, see, no me acuerdo, okay. uh, uh, sorry, sorry, Erika, uh, look, look at my sentence, my sentence is negative, I haven't checked uh, my email this day, what about you, have you, I, have you, have you checked your email today? Mm -hmm. Erika? I, I haven't checked my email this day. Oh, you haven't checked your email today. And you, Claudia? Yes, I have. Okay, so you say yes. I have checked my email today. Okay. So, uh, well, this is not something difficult. What you need to do is to memorize the verbs. The verbs are the principal ingredient in this dish. Okay, I'm going to give you some time because we're going to be working with this. So please take, take a, a picture. Let, let me see if I can make it bigger. Let me see, sorry. Let me see if I can, if I can make it bigger. Okay. All right. So please take a picture. Take a picture from this exercise. Take a picture from this exercise because we are gonna complete. Aquí está fácil. It is very easy. Why? Why is this easy? Because you already have the, the auxiliary, you see? I have, he hasn't, they have, I haven't, I think Jim has. What you need to do only is to write the past participle verb, okay? Algunos ya los vimos. Some of them, we already uh, know these verbs. We already know these verbs. So we're gonna go to small groups and we're gonna practice, okay? If it is not possible to check, if it is not possible to check uh, at the end of the class, in the forum, in the forum from the, from the platform, you are going to, you are going to type five from this five if we don't finish you are going to type five from this that is going to be your homework for the platform if we don't finish so now that you have your picture we're going to go and practice okay and this is going to be the last activity oh my god with you time flies okay so we're going to go and we're going to do it okay Bye-bye, everybody. Go and practice. This is the last part. The last part. Claudia and, and Sandy. Okay, Sandy is there. Spoke. Uh, the four e they have used leave it the mm. bullying. Mm, leave uh, the five. Okay, number four. Number three. Can you repeat number three, Norberto? Uh, he have has. Spoke. He hasn't. Hasn't spoke. 
Ah, okay, but spoke is the simple past. What is the past participle? Because remember that we need past participle verbs. I don't remember. No. Spoken. Spoken. Yeah, he hasn't spoken, okay? Spoken, okay. Yeah, he hasn't spoken. Okay. Very good. Okay, the, the four and they have used left. Left. Uh -huh. mm, left. Uh -huh. left. Sorry, what is that? Yeah. Mean? Okay, uh, the the six, no, five, uh, I haven't eight. No, she. Sorry, but sorry, sorry. But, uh, eight is in the five is a. Uh, the five. Is eating. Uh -huh. and seven. Seven. Ay, the other number eight. Salt. 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 Yeah. Salt. Salt. Uh, how do you write in salt? Oh, S S O L D S O L D D. Thank you. Yes. Number nine. Ask. Ask. Asked. Asked. Uh, with T. E E D. The finish. Asked. Oh, is, is it is regular? Ask. Yes. Asked. C. E F T. Mm -hmm. C I R. The number five is Irene. The number. Irene. Mm -hmm. Um, number six is have. Okay. Seven is okay. Okay. Uh, number seven is driven. 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 Yeah. Eh? Driven. <laughs> Uh, they have left, left the building. Mm -hmm. Sería la cinco. I haven't eaten. Before and see, I ask, ask their parents for any help. They have never asked. Okay, everybody, uh, because of the time, because of the time, because we already finished, uh, please, today, after the class, I'm going to go to the forum and I'm going to type, uh, type five sentences with present perfect. And you can select five sentences from the 15 of the, of the activity. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah, you will choose five. You will choose five uh, sentences from the from the list. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, 
I have three students that haven't finished the midterm exam. So maybe you can finish today or, or but uh, do it because I need to, to have that grade, the midterm exam, okay? Thank you very much, everybody, and have a good night. Have a good night, Bye. teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. If you have a question, you. please text me, all right? If you have a question. Bye-bye. Okay. Have a good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. God bless you. Bless you all. Bye-bye.